Hello everyone, I'm Mike D'Angelo with That's Entertainment, and this is your video review of Dead Space by EA Redwood Shores. Since the end of the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and original Xbox days of long ago, gamers have been hard-pressed to find a horror title that can truly boast its genre. Resident Evil 5 is more of a survival thriller than a horror, the Left 4 Dead series has some adrenaline-inducing moments, and there are plenty of other titles that want to scare the bejesus out of you. But EA Redwood Shores aims to show that while even though in space no one hears you scream, you'll be hard-pressed to stop trying. One of the most positive things that you'll notice about the game, before you even take into account the frightening aspects of Dead Space, is the well-crafted story. From the dialogue to the events that unfold around you, the game is told well, and even has an immense backstory to gloat about. You begin the game as Isaac Clark, a ship system specialist and engineer who is en route with a small team to the Planet Cracker class spaceship, Ishimura, a humongous mining vessel. Once on board, Isaac anticipates repairing it and meeting up with his girlfriend, but things quickly spin out of control. Right after arriving on the mining vessel, your crew is ambushed by ferocious creatures that infect the bodies of their victims, and all hell breaks loose. Throughout the game, you are sent on task to bring Ishimura back into working condition while avoiding death at the hands of these creatures, the Necromorphs. While scouring the spaceship, you also come into contact with numerous audio and text logs, which explain the harrowing fates of the prior crew of the Ishimura. Dead Space and Resident Evil 5 have a lot in common. Both rely heavily on inventory management and ammo conservation, and other similar mechanics. But Dead Space, despite being single player only, presents them in a much more horrifying manner. Whereas most survival games rely on dumping your bullets into an enemy until it drops, Dead Space unapologetically keeps things moving on the ground. Even if you take out the legs of a necromorph and spill him to the floor, he'll crawl at you relentlessly until you hack off his other limbs. And the ground isn't the only thing you'll have to worry about. The creatures like to crawl on the walls and drop on the ceiling, often getting the jump on you. Luckily, firepower is on your side. You get seven weapons total in the game, most revolving around Isaac's engineering profession, and they are all fully upgradable. As is his suit and two of the modules on it, which help him to slow time and obtain items from afar. Unfortunately for Isaac, the Necromorphs aren't the only thing he'll have to wade through to find his girl and get the Ishimura running again. The ship has fallen into disarray, and tons of environmental factors need to be taken into account. Among these are areas featuring zero gravity and rooms with no oxygen, which Isaac must navigate quickly. All the variety within Dead Space helps to keep the game fresh, but the game isn't without its faults. The over-the-shoulder view helps to fend off enemies, but there are no ways to quickly turn to meet your enemies, and sometimes you practically walk into them. The objectives are not always clearly defined either, though you do have a GPS laser that points you in the right direction. Whereas the gameplay and the story shine, the graphics are a little subpar for the HD systems of the console generation. Everything pretty much screams next-gen filter. That is, there are a lot of grays and browns and reds. The game does manage to mix it up a little bit with all the lights on board the Ishimura though, which shine in oranges, blues, and greens. Except for the human supporting characters, nothing is very detailed though. The Necromorphs, while designed to be terrifying, look subpar. On the other hand, Dead Space more than delivers on the audio front. With top-class voice acting, music that sets the mood wonderfully, and sound effects that fit the bill and tell you when danger is near, not many games will come close to dethroning Dead Space as the king of ambiance. Dead Space is fairly atypical. Despite its survivalist roots, they throw in a bunch of different ways to break up the game, and open it up to a breath of fresh air every once in a while. There are even two places of the game that play more like a minigame than a run-for-your-life, kill-everything-in-sight horror thriller in space. However, the main course of the game doesn't really change too much. They do help you out with the ability to upgrade your weapons and take out enemies in a couple of different ways, but after playing through the first time, not too much changes. Dead Space is probably the scariest game to come out during the console generation. Sure, there are plenty of horror titles that showcase zombies, undying monsters, and rampant infection, but none deliver so well as the title from EA Redwood Shores. The atmosphere, the music, the loneliness, Everything about the game comes together really well to make sure you want to leave at least one light on in your house. With that said, the game isn't perfect. Some awkward handling adds to the suspense by negating some control, and sometimes your objectives aren't entirely clear. But if you're looking for a game that's enjoyable, smart, and scary, look no further than Dead Space. That's Entertainment awards Dead Space a score of 9 out of 10.